Welcome everybody to another exciting episode, another haul video here at A Week in Geekdom on YouTube. Sorry for the shaky cam, I'm holding my phone with my hand right now. This is for the month of April, let's see what we got. So, as always, like all my haul videos, not a whole lot came in because they take like, well at least in stock trades orders take two weeks, sort of, to get here. So. The last two orders from April are, are not here, so um, yeah, it's going to be a lot shorter than I expected. Uh, let's start with manga. I'm continuing my monster journey. Now, if you saw was monster series, this is volume eight of the perfect editions. One more to go, and we will have completed this amazing series. I already know how it ends because I saw the anime, but I'm really itching to read all of this in manga form. So, yeah, volume eight of Monster. It's fantastic. You should definitely check it out. Another uh, curious little gem, this is a little not safe for work, it's uh, Prison School. The first trade. I cannot, I don't know if I want to show you what's inside. Um, here's the spine. It's a very uh, risque comedy series. Uh, I watched the anime adaptation on Funimation, and their dub was just freaking hilarious. I loved it. It's fantastic. Everybody should check it out. And it's really um, like a Western, raunchy comedy thing. It, I don't know. It very, it, it was very weird. It, it didn't feel like I was watching an anime. It felt like I was watching a uh, R-rated comedy on uh, at, at the movie theater. You know what I mean? But it's really cool. Basically, this uh, these guys get stuck in a prison made up from this uh, secretive student council in this uh, former all-girls private school, but now it's uh, mixing it up and allowing boys to enter. So there's five boys in there. And of course, they want to be pervs and they want to peek at the uh, ladies in the shower. So they get busted and it's really hilarious. Uh, I'm not doing it justice, but definitely if you're above, what, 13 or something, or maybe 16, I think you should check it out because it's cool. So let's move on to trades. Marvel, Image, and DC, and a little Dark Horse. Uh, first, we start with the Uncanny Inhumans. This is volume one, Time Crush from the Charles Soul run. I loved the Inhuman series, which was 15 issues, I think. It was 14 plus an annual. And I think I highlighted that last month uh, when I got it. So here's the follow-up, Uncanny and Humans. I'm not reading the single, so I'm really dying to know what's happening inside. Especially with, with uh, Steve McNiven on art, uh, on the art, which is just spectacular in my opinion. And they're going to face off against Kang, that's interesting. Kong, Kang, whatever. The Uncanny and Humans. I love the Inhumans. Someday soon I will post uh, some really cool info and videos on them because uh, they're, they're my team. I really like them. Uh, I love Fantastic Four, so obviously this spawned off from them and I really uh, like them. Uh, DC-wise, let's go with DC. Uh, Blinded by the Light, this is volume one of the second New 52 quote-unquote uh, Teen Titans run. The main reason I'm getting this, uh, I'll be honest with you, I know it's not that great, but one, I'm a huge Red Robin fan. Tim Drake's my man. He's the main Robin, in my opinion. I'm sorry. That's just how I roll. And I love the Teen Titans, so I want to collect a lot of different runs from the Teen Titans. Unfortunately, I did read the singles from Love Dell's horrible New 52 run. And now, uh, with this one, I am a huge fan of Kenneth Rockefeller's art. Uh, he is an awesome dude, and uh, yeah, this this art is just spectacular. Uh, I know it drew a lot of controversy surrounding uh, Wonder Girl's cleavage and posing and all that stuff, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and like the story, I guess. I haven't read it yet, but um, I have not read a lot from Will Pfeiffer, so we'll see. Let's uh, let's. Uh, yeah, it's just Rockefeller's art is just fantastic. I really, whoa, there we go. So yeah, I really want to check it out. Let's go with Image. Image, uh, Rat Queens Volume Three, Demons, amazing series, hilarious, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to start reading this as well. This is Volume Three. I hope these were in stock trades, so they were pretty cheap orders. 
Uh, we also have Paper Girls Volume 1, the excellent series from Brian K. Vaughan and Cliff Chang. Probably two of my favorite uh, creative people in comic books right now. Just Brian kills it every time with every series he does. And Cliff Chang's art is just so beautiful that uh, you've got a winning combination right here. And uh, yeah, Paper Girls. It's, it's so good. It's really good. And the usage of color and eatiness. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skip a smaller trade and just go with this big one right here. I finally got the third compendium of The Walking Dead. I had already read this a long time ago. Uh, I think it was in uh, trades or singles or something. Uh, I even have the Chrome variant for issue 100. But um, yeah, I already have the first two compendiums and I'm not that I'm, I'm not in a rush to read The Walking Dead because, you know, zombies. But, you know, it's uh, now with uh, season six over and people fighting over the whole Negan thing or whatever, it's going to be fun to re-read this and go into All Out War. And the stuff beyond All Out War I have not read after the time skip, so I'm really interested in, in, in reading this uh, story. And finally, my last trade, uh, Hellboy in Mexico. This is from, of course, Mike Viola, Dark Horse. It's just spectacular. I'm a huge Hellboy fan. There's some art here that I want you guys to check out. Is uh, yeah, that totally looks like Don Quixote. There's such a point that's in there. I know, I know, Don Quixote is from Spain, but you know what I mean. He really looks like him. But yeah, uh, Luchadors and Hellboy, that's gonna be awesome. I really like this image with the whole uh, Aztec Mayan thing. It's really cool. All right, uh, moving on to hardcovers. I picked up this little gem that's not well loved. It's uh, Jody Picoult's Wonder Woman run. It only lasted a little bit. It was only a few issues. This was after Infinite Crisis and the 52 series where uh, Wonder Woman was missing. So I do know Donna Troy is posing in as stepping in as Wonder Woman. But uh, man, just I love Terry Dodson. He's one of my favorite comic book artists, and I just wanted to pick it up because I have the first one with uh, Heinenberg, was it? And uh, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to collect it. I know it's not the most beloved Wonder Woman works uh, work out there compared to like Rick Rocca and uh, Brian Azzarello, but yeah, I'm a sucker for the art. And if anything, it just looks gorgeous. Uh, I really, I really like the art. So, yeah. Speaking of Wonder Woman, I also did pick up Wonder Woman Earth 1. Finally, Grant Morrison and Yannick Paquette, they finally released their long-anticipated, I should, uh, yeah, their long-anticipated Earth 1 book. This is Wonder Woman Earth 1 Volume 1. And uh, yeah, this will be my next book review because it's amazing and I want to talk a little bit about it. It's really good. I think everybody should check it out. If you're a Wonder Woman fan, if you're curious about it, if you're a Morrison fan, I think everybody should give this book a shot. It's awesome. I love the Earth One line. It's not the greatest thing, especially the Superman books. I don't really like Teen Titans, but was a little bit average. Still fun, but you know, and uh, Batman was great, uh, or at least the second volume was a little bit better than the first one. But with Wonder Woman, I think uh, it's it's a really fun, awesome book that people should check out. And uh, yeah, continuing with the hardcovers, this one is really expensive. I'm not going to show it yet. It's actually um, $34.99, and I got it for the whopping price of $8. Yep. I bought the Superior Spider-Man hardcover, oversized hardcover volume 3 for $8 on Amazon simply because of a few things here. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a few things. Yeah, it's a little banged up. Well, actually, not really. Just on the corner here. Just in the corner here. It's a little bent. I don't know if my phone can pick it up. But uh, yeah, it's pretty massive. And to just pay $8 for it, I'm all up for that. Uh, Superior Spider-Man, there you go. I'm collecting, I sold all my Spidey singles and I'm collecting Spider-Man in trades like I was doing a couple years ago. Uh, next up, we also got Miss Marvel, Oversized Star Trek, Hardcover Volume 2. I'm not interested in getting the Omnibus because I really have a tough time selling books and I already have the first one, so I'm just gonna pick this up. And I see, I, I don't 
know why the need to do an omnibus if you just release volume one and two. That's just insane. And another uh, book I wanted to highlight is um, the uh, IDW collection for Transformers. I got Last Stand of the Wreckers. It was really recommended, uh, highly recommended to me on the Omnibus Collector Swap page on Facebook by a couple of guys. And I'm really interested in checking it out because I like the Transformers and I've always wanted to read about them because the stories are pretty damn awesome. So uh, yeah, they recommended I start with this one, Last Stand of the Wreckers. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Books aside, we also highlight all the geeky stuff we buy. Let's go on to movies, shall we? A lot of Blu-rays this month, uh, an, an unusually high amount of Blu-rays. I did get uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, of course the Walmart exclusive, because I love BB-8. He is just adorable. Uh, fantastic movie, I loved it just like everybody else. And um, yeah, uh, love this cover. Uh, my uh, former co-host, Ryan Perez, got the uh, Steelbook? Yeah, it was a Steelbook from uh, Best Buy with Kylo Ren, but I went with uh, BB-8. I also did get uh, the new Ghost in the Shell movie, Ghost in the Shell the new movie, which if you see, if you saw my previous video to this one, uh, yeah, it was pretty heated, and I know a lot of people did not like that or were angry about it when I posted it on Facebook. So uh, I don't, I don't care. I stated my point, and, and I think it's going to be awesome, the new movie with uh, Johansson. But, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Might as well say anything like that. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, the new movie. It's awesome. You should definitely watch it. Um, I also did get Justice League vs. the Teen Titans, which I also uh, reviewed a couple uh, days ago. Uh, great movie. Uh, title's a little bit misleading, but I really freaking liked it. It's awesome, especially that part, the Teen Titans. Not so much the Justice League. It's a great Teen Titans movie, and I hope they continue making more. Uh, I also did get some oldies that I was missing on Blu-ray, but Unbreakable, for all the, the all the next movies that I'm going to highlight are all for $8 or less, like between 5 bucks and 8 bucks or something like that. Unbreakable on Blu-ray, uh, The Good, Bad and the Ugly, Pan's Labyrinth, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, all of these were like 5 bucks each, and uh, the only DVD per se, uh, was Naruto Shippuden DVD set 26, episodes 323 to 335. Yeah. Action figure wise, not a whole lot, but I did get the amazing Silver Surfer Funko Pop. Yay! And of course, finally, you may have seen it on social media, finally! After two excruciatingly long months, I finally was able to grab Spider-Gwen at my uh, nearest Walmart. It took them two months to get new, to get the um, Absorbing Man wave of the Marvel Legends stuff. <sighs> I, I, I was going to give up. Seriously, after leaving work, uh, I have a Walgreens, Walmart, and Toys R Us next to me. So each day I would just look in there and see if I could find the spider Gwen and uh, nothing but thank God uh, this month I finally found it and I, I couldn't be happier it's awesome so I paired her up with uh, Mayday Parker because they're both awesome and here we have Star Wars Vader down which is great can't wait to actually read this uh, event in the new Star Wars Marvel comics I hate Fairyland from Scotty Young, Volume 1, Madly Ever After. It's great when you can buy an image book for $4. Thank you, Instock Trades. Uh, Secret Six, Volume 4, Caution to the Wind. And the second hardcover, oversized hardcover, for the Superior Spider-Man. And I also did get Batman and Robin, Batman Reborn. I'm trying to, to uh, finish Grant Morrison's epic Batman run, and I was missing the Batman and Robin stuff, so, uh, yeah. So... That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like any of the stuff that I got this month and you want me to review it, please let me know. Type down below what you want me to talk about and I'll review it and like talk nonsense about it because it's all awesome I think. I love comics and I love talking about them. So thank you so much. Uh, as always, like and subscribe down below. 
And uh, yeah, as always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, and Periscope. Just type We Can Geek Them and I'm there for you guys. All right, I gotta go. I got a ton of stuff to read, so I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in to another installment. You can keep the conversation going through your favorite social media platform. You can like and subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, like our fan page on Facebook, and favorite our pics on Instagram. You can also write to us for feedback, suggestions, and such via a week in geekdom at gmail.com. Until next time. Gonna continue my uh, Naru marathon. See what I did there.